did you ever like because because I've never seen a reporter have that much access, frankly, to a sitting president who is not there, you know, a reporter who is not, you know, Sean Hannity, you know. And so you had these regular conversations with him. Did you, did you ever feel like he was listening to you and did you see his public behaviour change after a conversation with you? Like you might talk to him in the morning and say, listen, you should think about this. Would you ever see, you know, in the afternoon he would tweet, why? No, not much, but he did uh, pick up, I think many weeks later, the notion of full mobilization. He did say in one of his press conferences, this is full mobilization, tragically. And why, in my view, he's the wrong man for the job. He never mobilized fully. There's no guidelines. There's no rules. There's contradictions. It is, I'm embarrassed for the president, I'm sorry to say. I, uh, I think he has failed in his basic duty in a way that the historians are going to be writing about for decades, about what he knew on January 28th and failed to come clean. He, as you know, a few days after that January 28th meeting, he gave a State of the Union address mm -hmm. to Congress. Mm -hmm. A big deal. This is the moment for the president to say, this is what's going on, this is what's, what matters, this is significant in your lives and in my government, right? Forty million people listening. Near the end, he talks about the virus for 15 seconds and says, we're doing everything we can. He then spent, what, two minutes and 45 seconds on Rush Limbaugh. Suppose he had said, I got this warning, I need to tell you that's my job, I'm going to protect the people, and as we now know, there, and was known at the time, there are about four things each individual in the country can do that right. isn't hard. Right. Well, wash your hands, so social you. distance, yeah. don't get in a large room with lots of people for an extended period of time, and wear a mask. 